Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger and your energy forecast for today, September the 11th, 2013. And I thank you for taking time to watch this video, for retweeting, posting, sharing, subscribing, liking, doing all that social media stuff that we in this industry appreciate because it furthers our message, our business, our line of work, whatever we, we do. So today is an 11 day. It is uh, an 11 day in our history as a, as a country um, and uh, 11 is very powerful master number um, and uh, in the deck of cards 11 is our justice card which is bringing things back into balance um, so to speak or um, yielding the rights and the wrongs um, kind of a feeling so very powerful it all boils down to number two as well which is our high priestess. She has the fruit of knowledge and the law in her hand, also a wise owl with her. So there's wisdom there as well with her. Bolt all the numbers down at 9112013, and you're going to get 17, which is hope, the star card, rebirth. Um, the, the dawning of a new age and, and the light from uh, the tower card just starting to kind of come back up. And that's also the strength card, which is a very powerful number as well. So interesting, interesting day energetically. Um, personally, it feels more peaceful than anything else. Um, didn't You know, the only thing I had was um, message wise was I was thinking about, you know, the show that I do on Wednesday nights with tonight. Jamie, the psychic from Cosmic Caffeine, um, will be there with me tonight. We'll probably get a lot of um, messages from the other side just because of the nature of the date, the energy of, you know, what's going on in the in our country and around the world today. So I hope you can join us 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be there till 10 p.m. So for an um, hour and a half. Uh, but um, my, what was I going to say? I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I can feel and I also know when I was living in a small town um, and I would you know buy a book about being psychic and I would read it and I'd make sure I kept it hidden somewhere I know there are many of you that probably still watch this video you know privately quietly so nobody knows you're listening to someone like me I know there are many um, that watch and listen to blog talk radio that um, are listening to it privately, quietly, and wouldn't share with too many of their friends that they listen to that type of a show, much less call or go to someone. You know, that's one of the reasons why I do like email readings, because people still have a little bit of fear about, you know, you know, talking to someone like me and stepping into an unknown world um, that I live in and, and you know, that, that they are not familiar with. So I get it. I understand it. And, um, you know, I think part of one of my main jobs is to bridge the gap from what I kind of lovingly call the old school psychic um, and medium and the the new thought person, you know, the, the Wayne Dyers, the Deepak Chopras, you know, they do what I do. They just don't call it that. Um, Wayne Dyer just started talking about orbs and intuition and he went to John of God. So some of the new thought people, you know, they're kind of allowing that to come together, um, at least in a lot of print. And when they're on, you know, published TV and radio and stuff like that, they don't delve into that because it could affect their career. So I understand that, you know, so for me, because growing up closeted in a small town, I'm walking boldly and authentically forward because if I wanted to, I'm sure I could push and mold my, my uh, material, my practice into a 10 step program, um, which I don't discount them, but for me, it just seems so fake. I understand why those quote 10 step programs are there um, and development classes and, and, and books and things and stuff like that. I understand why they're there because they're there for others who need that structure. Um, but I know for me, it just feels very fake. I went, you know, for two or three years, I kept changing my name and my business card and what I want to call myself. Because, you know, if you ask me what I do, I really don't know how to tell you. I, I just say I'm someone who uses his intuition to deliver messages. There's often healing. Those messages can deal with animals. Those messages can deal with loved ones on the other side. They can just deal with the spirit realm, you know. And, and when you boil it all the way, way, way down for me, it's all about just working with energy. And that's kind of the bottom line there. Um, energy and love, divine love, that energy. So it's just it's this bar bizarre thing and process that I know when I leave this body, as every one of you listening to me, when you leave it, you're going to kind of go, <laughs> oh, that's what it was all about. 
Because there's nobody here on this planet that has all the answers and knows what it's like on the other side. Even those who have had near-death experiences, even those most powerful channels, we're still working through this dense human body. Um, you know, so I got, I got, I got not not near all the answers. I don't have any of the answers. I'm just allowing it to come through. So it's just it's, it's just a fun existence. I mean, I am literally along for the ride. Um, and it feels like a circus freak show. Um, I love the reference of the Island of the Misfit Toys because that's what we at work would call ourselves. So from uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the Island of Misfit Toys, that's what I feel like sometimes, you know? And my special gift is, <laughs> so um, just fun stuff. I'm rambling and I'm gonna pull a card for today. Uh, and it is going to be the Knight of Coins. So our coins are about earthly things, the element earth, um, you know, uh, coins, our money, resources, finances, it may be pinnacles, it may be discs in your deck of cards. Um, the knight are often these kind of young, impetuous, kind of moving, kind of male, masculine type creatures, figures, people, beings. Um, and, and again, this deck, the there's no face or no body in this because when Sierra Marchetti designed the deck, he didn't feel it was important for the person to be there because it's about the helmet, the crest, the kingdom that they belong to. So it's more important that they're part of the earth kingdom than who they are, what they look like. But I love these powerful, strong horses in the bottom, you know, rearing up very, you know, earthly creatures. So I feel like today's a day. What I'm seeing in my mind is that like an elephant can push through and drag a cart. I'm seeing this with the realms of your business, your money, and your finances. Push through today and create what you want from a perspective of business and family. If you want your child to go to a certain school and you've been working hard, today's the day to push through. If you're looking for a new job or a raise, today's the day to push through. Push through is the message today. Push through. I just keep hearing that over and over. So today's the day to power and push through. It should feel like you're being walking through a quicksand and mud, and I'm being shown that because it's the earth card. If it was any other card, they would move a little faster, but it's going to feel like you're walking through earth, but I feel like it will happen quickly as long as you continue pushing all day long. Don't let up on pushing through. This is not forcing, but this is pushing through. Um, so I think there's going to be a difference because pushing through feels like it's supposed to be. Forcing it feels like you're trying to make something happen that isn't. This is about pushing through what is supposed to be going to go on today. So push through, push through, push through. That's all I can say. So uh, I think that's about it. Tonight, um, the Intuitive Messenger Show, Blog Talk Radio, 8.30 p.m. Um, I'm always available for um, sessions and readings. I posted some new e email and YouTube readings, one question, two question, full spread, some um, love spread, compatibility spreads. Check that out on intuitivemessenger.org. Next Tuesday night, I will do the continuation of 21 Ways to Read a Tarot Card. You don't have to do these in order because I'll be doing four, five, and six. Um, a week from today will probably be my last video for my vacation time. I doubt I get up and do one on Thursday the 19th because I'll be packing and getting ready for my trip going to Alaska. Uh, won't be any videos, but there'll be a lot of posting of pictures and glaciers and bears and whales and probably food too. Um, and probably the original Starbucks, because I will be going to that Starbucks at Pike's Place. Uh, so all of that being said, thank you so much. Namastas to you bitches. I appreciate you, um, all you do and all you are and all the posts and feedback that you give me. Um, I thank you. Um, I know you. Most a lot of you will say thank you for doing what I'm doing. I appreciate that. I do see all those. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I know I'm supposed to still be here because each morning I get up and I look forward to doing this. So have a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Some of you, I'll talk to you on the radio tonight, Blog Talk Radio, um, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.